Hi Mace, Brad here, just going to have a look at your action, um, just to see if we can see, make sure that we're driving over the front foot, getting over the top, let's have a look at our approach, this is the first one, you're a little bit flat weren't we, so let's have a look at back foot contact, front foot, quite like you quite completed your action there and you rushed through it you know you got through it quite quickly let's have a look at the next one so there's our so back foot's landing pointing down the pitch so we need to be slightly open can you see how crossed your feet are mace and can you see your left toe what's it starting to do splay open a bit isn't it Okay, so that's opening your hips and your shoulders. Okay, and then we get into release. Okay. Because you're, cause you're a little bit crossed with your feet, you can just see it ball release now. Can you see how high you are? You're very close to going past the perpendicular. And then my arm and that right hip, right knee drives through. So try and keep that bowling arm tight to your body. Can you see how it's flaying a little bit out here? Try and keep that really in tight to your body. Because if that arm flays it out, it'll take the ball with it. So we need to make sure that arm stays tight so the ball's en ending up with revolutions on it going forward and not pulling to the side. Okay. But I think we've got to just look at your, got to look at your feet. What? Look at your feet. Okay. You just got to get that foot right. See that left foot it needs to be slightly open. That left foot needs to land slightly here because your back foot just slightly there, and that will straighten up the whole of your action, your feet. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of spots down for you to work on that back foot landing and front foot to get here and not slightly splayed open. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 